I bet you're tired of competing with a mouse to find dinner. Well, today only you can learn how to eliminate a mouse. Hello and welcome to Amazing Product Discoveries. Today, Shannon and I are going to teach you some easy and effective ways to dispose of a mouse. Yes, that's right, Kristen. And with everyday products, too, your home will be rodent free. First, this handy old mouse trap can do the trick. But remember, mice prefer peanut butter and cheese on the, tra on the trap. Put the goodie on the tip of the mouse. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Go ahead. Also, a good but dangerous idea is antifreeze. But be sure to keep pets and children away from antifreeze. <laughs> it's poison. <laughs> trim a paper cup to about one fourth of an inch high. Place a trim cup in a well traveled mouse area and simply pour some antifreeze into the cup, and the mouse will drink it. The mouse will think you made it a mouse cocktail. Another effective way to terminate a mouse is to invest in a cat. <laughs> You're doing fine. Hold it together. Keep going. <laughs> the majority right. of modern day cats will do anything in their power to get rid of the pesky mice. If all else fails, you could capture the mouse and put it in a bag and club it with a hammer. <laughs> well, that's it, folks. <laughs> we hope these tips will help you live rodent-free. See you next time on Amazing Product Discoveries. <laughs> I'm crying. Oh, my God, that was a good one. <laughs> Definitely 10 out of 10 on that one. We're gonna, I guarantee you, we're gonna be doing this for some time. Yeah. Do you have a name? Do you have a title? Do you want it now? Mm -hmm. I bet you're tired of competing with a mouse to find dinner. Well, today, only you can learn how to eliminate a mouse. Hello, and welcome to Amazing Product Discoveries. Today, Shane and I, Rachel, are going to teach you some easy and effective ways to dispose of a mouse. Yes, that's right, Rachel. And with everyday products, too, your home will be rodent free. First, this handy old mouse trap should do the trick. But remember, mice prefer peanut butter or cheese on this trap. But put the goodie on the tip of the wire before you load the spring. Also, a good but dangerous idea is antifreeze. But be sure to keep pets and children away from the antifreeze. It's poison. Trim a paper cup to about one-fourth of an inch high, place the trimmed cup in a well-traveled mouse area, and simply pour some antifreeze into the cup. And the mouse will drink it. The mouse will think you made it a mouse cocktail. Another effective way to terminate a mouse is to invest in a cat. The majority of modern day cats see mice as a hindrance. Cats will do anything in their power to get rid of the pesky mice. If all else fails, you can capture the mouse, put it in a bag, and club it with a hammer. Well, that's it folks. We hope these tips will help you live rodent free. See you next time on Amazing Product Discoveries. Hi, welcome to the Lunchbox. Today we're going to learn some amazing things. I'm Thad and I'm here along with Alyssa today on the Lunchbox and she's going to show you just how to make a sandwich. Thanks Thad. You know, there are many types of sandwiches people can make. Today though, we're going to use bread, lettuce, mayonnaise, cheese, and turkey. That's right, we are making a turkey sandwich. Keeping all your ingredients refrigerated is so critical so they don't spoil. Spoil of food makes for a disappointed tummy. Now let's go over those ingredients again. We have bread, lettuce, mayonnaise, cheese, and turkey. Now how you put your sandwich together is very important for the taste. The first step in making a tasty sandwich is to put mayonnaise on both slices of bread. Now I personally don't eat mayo because it's just so fattening, but go ahead and slather it on there if you must, Alyssa. Next, I put on the cheese and then the lettuce. Mm. I like a lot of lettuce. Of course. Finally, I add the turkey. Don't you love the way that looks? Mm. But to make the sandwich just perfect, to combine the ingredients into a tasty sensation, squish the two pieces of bread and ingredients between your hands. Squish the sandwich? Mm. Mm, that sounds disgusting, mm. Thad, but I'm no expert. Well, I am, because squishing a sandwich is a fine art, Alyssa. Ah, that's great. Next, cut your sandwich into your liking. Some folks like to cut it diagonally, others prefer the X shape. More pieces to share, right? 
Right, <laughs> if you have the appetite of a squirrel. Make your sandwich plate beautiful by garnishing it with a pickle. And chips and potato salad are a nice thing to put on it as well. And voila, you have a beautiful sandwich meal. Once again, that's turkey, lettuce, mayo, cheese, and good bread. They are the fixings for a fantastic sandwich. Try it. Now, thanks for having lunch with us. See you tomorrow and when we are covering the thermos, keeping it hot or keeping it cold, which will you choose? I bet you're tired of competing with a mouse for dinner. Well, today only you can learn how to eliminate them. Hi, and welcome to Amazing Product Discoveries. Today, Thad and I are going to teach you some easy and effective ways to dispose of mice. Yep, that's right, Alyssa. And with everyday products, your home will be rodent free. First off, we have this handy little mouse trap. Remember, mice prefer peanut butter and cheese on the trap. Put the goodie on the end of the spring before loading it. Also, a good but dangerous idea is to use antifreeze. Mm. But be sure to keep pets and children away from the antifreeze because it's poison. This is true. Trim a paper cup to about a quarter inch high. Put it in a well, mouse traveled area, and simply pour the antifreeze into the cup. The mouse will come along, drink it, and think you made him a nice little cocktail. Another effective way to terminate a mouse is to invest in a cat. The majority oh. of modern day cats see mice as a hindrance. Cats will do just about anything they can do to rid themselves of these pesky mice. And if all else fails, you can capture the mouse, put it in a bag, and club it with a hammer. That's all for today, folks. We hope these tips will help you live rodent free. See you next time on Amazing Product Discoveries. Amazing things. I'm Andrew, and here with me today is Joey. Today on the Lunchbox, he's going to show you how to make a sandwich. Thanks, Andrew. You know there are many types of sandwiches that a person can make. Today, we're going to use bread, lettuce, mayonnaise, cheese, and turkey. That's right. We're making a turkey sandwich. Keep all your ingredients refrigerated so they don't go spoiled. Spoiled food makes for a disappointed tummy. Let's go over those ingredients again. Bread, lettuce, mayonnaise, cheese, and turkey. How you put your sandwich together is important for good taste. The first step in making a tasty sandwich is to put mayonnaise on each piece of bread. I personally don't eat mayo because it's so fattening, but go ahead and slather it on if you must, Joey. Next, I put on the cheese, then lettuce, and, uh, and I like lots of lettuce, and finally some juicy turkey. Don't you love the way it looks? To make the sandwich just perfect, to combine the ingredients into a tasty sensation, Squish the two pieces of bread together and the ingredients between your hands. Squish the sandwich? Sounds disgusting, Andrew, but I'm no expert. Yes, squishing a sandwich is a fine art, Joey. Ah, that's great. Next, cut your sandwich in, into your liking. Some folks like cutting diagonally, and some like cutting into X, which uh, adds more pieces. Right, if you have the appetite of a squirrel. Make your sandwich plate beautiful by garnishing with a pickle, and chips or potato salad, and voila, a beautiful sandwich. Once again, turkey, lettuce, mayo, cheese, and good bread are the fixings for a fantastic sandwich. Try it. Thanks for having us for lunch. See you tomorrow when we'll cover the thermos. Keep it hot or keep it cold. Which will you choose? All right. I'm fucking <coughs> Hello, welcome to the Lunchbox. Today, we're gonna learn some amazing things. I'm Dustin, here with me is Kevin. Today on the Lunchbox, he's gonna show you how to make a sandwich. Yes, thank you, Dustin, and not just any sandwich. You know, there are many types of sandwiches that a person can make. Today, we're going to use bread, lettuce, cheese, and turkey. That's right, we're making a turkey sandwich. Keep all your ingredients refrigerated so they don't spoil. Spoiled food makes for a disappointed tummy. Let's go over these ingredients again. Bread, lettuce, mayonnaise, cheese, and leftover for Thanksgiving, turkey. Now how you put your sandwich together is important for good taste. 
The first step in making a tasty sandwich is to make sure you put mayo on each piece of bread. I personally don't eat mayo because it's so fattening. But go ahead and smother it on there if you must, Kevin. Now that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Next, I'll put on the cheese and then the lettuce. And I like lots of lettuce. Finally, you're gonna put on the nice juicy turkey. Don't you love the way that looks? To make the sandwich just perfect, to combine the ingredients into a tasty sensation, squish the two pieces of bread and ingredients between your hands. I'm sorry, did you say squish the sandwich? That sounds disgusting, Dustin, but I'm no expert. Yes, squishing a sandwich is a fine art, Kevon. Then squish away, that's great. Next, cut your sandwich to your liking. Some folks like to cut it diagonally, Others like to cut it into an X. More pieces to share, huh? Right, if you have the appetite of a squirrel, huh? <laughs> Make your sandwich play beautiful by garnishing with a pickle. Add chips or a potato salad, and voila, a beautiful sandwich meal. Once again, turkey, lettuce, mayo, cheese, and good bread are the fixings for a fantastic sandwich. Try it. Thanks for having lunch with us. <laughs> See you tomorrow when we'll cover the thermos keeping it hot or keeping it cold. Which will you choose?